In this video, we're going to take a look at baking lighting into textures using Octane for Unity. And for this video, I'm using the Space Filling Station scene. So let's start in our scene by creating a camera, which we'll use for the baking. So I'll choose Game Object Camera, and let's rename this Baking Camera. Then I'm going to select the PBR render target. And under the camera settings, let's choose custom. And then I'll select from this menu, baking cam, baking camera. And then I'm going to set the camera type to baking as opposed to thin lens, which is more like a regular camera. Then let's go down here. I'm going to set the kernel to direct lighting. So it's nice and fast. And I've set the samples pretty low, set them down to 20 for the moment. And my global illumination mode is set to diffuse. So let's take a look down here under camera imager. And uh, I want to turn on the spectral AI denoiser. This will smooth out the image and remove noise much faster uh, with lower sample settings. So this is why I can get away with such a low sample setting. I have to set this to 20. But with the AI denoiser, it'll be nice and smooth. And we do have a video on using the AI denoiser if you need more information. Let's turn on Enable Denoising. And then I want to go to the resolution settings, which are found within Film Settings. So I'll expand Film Settings. And let's set the resolution to 1024 by 1024. And finally, I need to set the baking group IDs. So I'll select this object. This is the object that I want to bake the lighting for, this little raised floor panel here. And uh, I'm going to select it. And then in the inspector, I'm going to set the baking group ID to 10, just because it's an easy number to remember. And it should match what I have set in the PBR render target. So if I select PBR render target, and then go to baking group ID. I want to set this to 10 as well. And then finally, let's render. So I'll choose to render. You can see it's fairly quick, but it's very noisy. I'm going to set the main menu to denoised, and you can see it smooths out very quickly and looks pretty good. If it feels like a little bit too blotchy, what I can do is I'll go into the um, kernel settings and increase those max samples. So let's try this at 40. And you can see it'll continue rendering to 40. So essentially you want to just raise this so it's just enough so that you're happy with the result, um, but it still renders nice and quickly. And uh, that renders pretty fast. So I'm going to save this to disk. So I'll click on this icon right here. I'll save it as a PNG 16-bit. I'll put it in textures. And let's call it baked all caps so it's easy to find raised floor 01 so we'll save that and we can close it and then what we can do is let's go into our, our materials folder I'm going to create a new material let's call this baked raised floor 01 mat and I'm going to put it on that same object here there we go select this let's set the uh, shader type to unlit texture and then I'm going to choose that texture so I might need to refresh this. If it's not showing up, let's go to the textures folder. Just choose refresh. There we go. Just wasn't showing up. So make sure it's refreshed. Let's go back to that material. And select it here. And you can see now the lighting is baked in to the surface here in the viewport using all the nice octane lighting features. 
So let's repeat the process for this object back here. So I'm going to select it and set its baking group ID to 20. And then go to my PBR render target. and set its baking group ID to 20 as well. So go to camera, baking, baking camera, baking group ID, set this to 20, and then let's do a render. You can see here's the noisy version, and then I can do denoised, it's very fast, and get some nice shadows there, and the lighting, etc. So let's save this out. And I'm going to save this as baked raised floor 02. So I'll close this and I'm going to create another material. We'll call this baked raised floor 02. M A T. And put this on this surface. Set it to unlit texture. Make sure we refresh our textures. So go to textures, right click, and choose. Refresh or Control R. So let's go back to that material and select that texture. There you go. You can see the baked lighting with the shadows. And they're cast across both surfaces, so it's starting to look pretty nice. The render to texture option allows you to save your baked textures with a lot less uh, clicking. Uh, of buttons here in the interface. So for example, I'm going to select this front of the RV spaceship here. And uh, let's go to its material. It's using spaceship mat 02. I'm going to set this to octane PBR override just because I've already set up a nice material uh, using those options. So you can see I have the texture maps already plugged in. And it's all been set up before. So you can check out the little video on how to set up uh, Octane materials in Unity. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the Baking Group ID. Let's set this to 30. Again, it's just a random number that's easy to remember. And I'm going to go to my PBR render target. And I'm going to go to the camera. Still set to Baking Camera. And I'm going to set the baking group ID to 30 to match that surface. And I'm going to expand render to texture. And you can see I have two. I have main and denoised. So the main is the version without denoising. And the denoised version has denoising in it based on the other settings of the PBR render target. So I'm going to hit create new here. And let's call this RV baked main.png and I'll choose create new go to textures and I'll call this RV baked DN for denoised and then I'll go to PBR render target and choose render you can see here's the main version and here's the denoised version and these are automatically saved as textures. So if we take a look at the textures, you can see here they are right here, baked denoised and baked main. And if I select the PBR render target, I'll choose render so we can see the actual texture. If I select the light in the scene and say rotate it, change the lighting, In the PBR render view, if I switch to denoised, you can see the denoised version, and then I can render. It'll take a few seconds to update, and then we see the result denoised. So it's pretty fast when it comes to baking the lighting.
What's also pretty cool is you can do this with render passes as well. So if I go into the PBR render target, I'm going to go down and expand render passes and scroll down here. And let's turn on reflection, diffuse direct, and diffuse indirect just for fun. You can choose whichever ones we like. But you'll notice when I do that, you can see that automatically it adds diffuse direct, diffuse indirect, and reflection in the render to textures section. So I'm going to press create new and create new textures for each of these. So we're going to call it RB baked uh, diffuse. Just do diff for diffuse. Create new textures. Diffuse. And I'll call this diffuse IN for indirect. And then reflection. And save all these and then choose render. And if we go to this menu here, we can see here's what denoise looks like. Here's diffuse direct. Here's diffuse indirect. And here's reflection. And of course, we can also up the samples for these. So if we go into the uh, kernel, I'm going to set the samples here to 100. And then you can see the result and it renders really quickly. And all those textures now appear down here in the textures area. So that is the basics of baking lighting to texture in Octane for Unity.